Getting your website to load blazingly fast has never been more important. With each progressive algorithm update, Google is prioritizing high quality content and stellar user experiences. And website performance is a crucial part of offering that stellar user experience. In fact, the average user backs out of a website if it takes longer than just three seconds to load. Let's try to avoid that, shall we? Here are the nine simplest ways to make your website load faster right now. Number one, impress your images. This is the easiest and simplest way to speed up your website's loading speed. You know all those fancy, beautiful free stock photos that you love to add to your site? They're massive. If you're downloading those photos and then turning around and uploading them to your site as is, you're making a huge mistake. There are a number of ways you can compress and optimize your images, but here's the simple method I use. Here's how to reduce the size of your images using Photoshop. Okay, so we're gonna take one of these super cool stock photos that we downloaded from one of these uh, free high quality stock photo sites. This one is of a knight because knights are cool. Okay, now we got the image. So first things first, the image is gonna be too big uh, size wise, so we're gonna go to image, image size. And right away we see the width is 6400 pixels and the height is 4300. We don't need anything nearly that big. The max you, you should ever need is, let's say 1920 uh, width. And we wanna make sure this link here remains checked so that the width and height uh, changes together. So if you change the width, the height will automatically adjust with it to keep the proportions proper. Now we simply click OK. Got a smaller picture. Don't worry, it's going to actually be bigger than that when you put it on your site. Now we need to compress it. So we'll go to File, Export, and Save for Web. The options come up in the top right corner. You'll see you can choose the file format. Most pictures can just be JPEG. You can choose uh, the quality level, maximum, very high, high, medium, and low. Honestly, every time, just go with low, because this is what low looks like. It's still high quality. Uh, and then this is on a scale of 1 to 100, the quality level you want. I usually put no more than 5 or 10%, honestly. And that's it. And we're going to click Save. And we'll do Shield Compressed, because it's smaller now. And that is it. You've compressed the image. Now if you want to see the difference, the original picture, 9.2 megabytes, huge photo. Compressed one, now that it's ready to go up on the website, 50.5 kilobytes. That's like nothing. So again, this is 100% necessary. You need to compress all of your images before you upload them to the website. I recommend Photoshop. I know it's 10 bucks a month. It's not free, but it's more than worth it just for this feature alone. Number two, remove video backgrounds. I know this one is hard to hear. Video backgrounds are cool and trendy, but if you don't do them right, they can absolutely destroy your website's loading speeds. And if you're here watching this, I can assure you that you don't know enough about web design to implement video backgrounds in your site properly. No offense. Kill the video and put a high quality image with a super compelling headline instead. Your loading speeds will instantly improve, I guarantee it. Three, remove all pop-ups. Pop-ups are bad for everyone. They're tacky, your visitors hate them, they convert poorly, and they slow down your website. Even Google hates them now, so get rid of them. If you can't get people to subscribe to your newsletter without throwing it in their face and tricking them with a super duper amazing checklist ebook guide that you can only get if you subscribe, then you need to work on your writing skills. Make great stuff. People will want to read and watch. It's that simple. Four, get rid of all ads. If you're trying to monetize your website with ads, it's time to stop, like yesterday. Ads are annoying to your visitors, they pay extremely little, and they add a bunch of unnecessary code to your site that can kill your performance. Instead, monetize your website with things that will actually make you money. Nothing pays better than selling products or services that you actually make. Or, at the very least, make money by recommending great products that other people make. It's called affiliate marketing, and it's super popular. Five, delete unnecessary plugins. 
WordPress is the most popular web design platform in the world for good reason. One of those being the thousands of plugins that are available to fully customize your website to your desire. The problem is, most of them suck. Worse still, it can be really hard to tell. Many plugins do exactly what they advertise on the surface, but behind the scenes, they're resource-sucking monstrosities. Thousands of five-star review plugins could be secretly sabotaging your website's loading speeds. The answer here is to only install plugins that are absolutely essential to your website's experience. Everything else is digital fluff and should be expelled with reckless abandon. To find out which plugins are slowing down your website, you have to go through a painstaking process of deleting each of them one by one, then retesting to see if it has made any impact on your site's performance. And this doesn't just apply to WordPress, by the way. Most major web design platforms offer plugins of some kind including Shopify and Weebly. Six, use caching. Caching is a method of storing certain parts of your website on your visitors' computers, thereby sharing the workload with the website servers. This dramatically improves loading speeds when your visitors return to your site. For example, instead of loading the main header image from scratch every single time, caching allows you to load that image the first time your visitor lands on your site but then store it on their computer in the process. The next time this visitor comes to your website, their computer will load the image locally rather than directly from your website server again. Needless to say, this is one of the most critical components of website performance. Seven, incorporate lazy loading. Lazy loading is exactly what it sounds like. Rather than load an entire web page's content as soon as a visitor lands on the page, it will only load what they need to see on their screen right away. Then, as the visitor scrolls down, it will load the rest of the content. This is particularly useful for pages with lots of images and videos, which can take up a lot of your website's resources. Depending on what platform you've used to build your website, this feature may or may not be readily available. With something like Weebly, for example, you'll probably need to hire a professional coder. Eight, choose a simpler theme. The majority of the web is built off themes these days. The quality and performance of website themes have improved so dramatically that it rarely makes sense to code a website from scratch. That said, there are still quite a few duds out there. Over the years, many themes have attempted to incorporate every feature under the sun. As a result, they often look pretty, but perform poorly. Avoid these bloated themes like the plague. Keep it simple. You want something that is going to make your visitors' experience fantastic. A great theme ensures that the content of the site is the focus. As a visitor, you shouldn't even notice what theme is being used. If you've got one of these bloated themes, scrap it for something simpler. And finally, nine, get a better web hosting company. Your web hosting is only $3 a month? That's great. But remember this, you get what you pay for. The web hosting industry is extremely competitive. Massive companies constantly try to undercut each other on price while essentially ignoring the quality of their service. It's also chock full of crappy affiliate marketers. Companies like Bluehost pay you as much as $130 for every customer you send their way. As a result, everyone recommends Bluehost. I've even done it in the past, to be honest. Bluehost isn't a bad service, but it's not a great one either. And if you're really trying to improve your website's Google rankings, performance and loading speeds are extremely important. And you're not gonna find that at $3 a month. I host all of my clients' websites on a dedicated high-performance server for exactly this reason. And no, I don't charge $3 a month. Now let's look at how to test your website's loading speed. There are many free online speed and performance testers. My personal favorite is GT Metrics. Because the results can vary widely depending on which tool you use to test your site, it's important to always be consistent. Use the same tool to test both before and after you make the changes to your site. If GT Metrics is a little too daunting for you, you can also check out Pingdom, Google PageSpeed, Think with Google, or Uptrends, and a bunch of others that are out there. Pretty simple, right? Simple enough that you now have no excuses to get to work on improving your website's loading speeds. 
Let me know how much time you shaved off your loading speed in the comments below.